Dr. Dr. Duran, sorry, that he was showing very important point that recharge, which is very, very important to understand. And therefore, I think that I will also start with that is a very important point. That is today goal of my presentation is the basic concept of research method and methodology. Of course, this is for the beginners. My presentation to the presentation is only for the beginners. That is fundamentals of research method and methodology. Now, the question will be in our mind that what is research? Why research method and methodology are different? And what is research gap? So let us first start with the first question. And I would like to uh, write down here. Well, so uh, what is research? So it is a logical and systematic source for new and useful information on a particular topic. And maybe sometimes creation of new knowledge and or the use of existing knowledge in a new creative way. This is very important. And you, we need to understand research is not only finding out the facts, it is also creative in nature. Sometimes we are generating new concepts. Sometimes based on the published paper, we are developing new horizon in the research. So research can be divided into the two phases, research. Let us search it again and again. And it is of course logical in this. We should develop the logic because why I am now sharing this point because later on we will understand what is research gap. And practically where I will show you how to find out the research gap, how to formulate the research quiz and how you can make the blueprint of your research and how we are saying it as a research problem. Now, my next point is very, very important. And I would like to share two famous personalities at quotation. I, I, I love to share this here. Give me one minute. Copy and paste it. Yes. The first one I have shared by Helen and the next one by Albert Einstein. So here we have seen that before starting about the research question, research problem, the first Helen, what he was sharing. After all, the ultimate goal of all research is not objectivity, but truth. Yes, let us find out the truth. Why we are doing our research? Our principal point is that to find out the truth and how with our imagination. We have to imagine something without our imagination. There will be no research. And therefore, Albert Einstein said, I, I would like to say, I know that everyone knows this profession. This is very, very uh, the popular. Imagination is more important than knowledge. But I love to say it because it is the heart touching sentence. It is heart touching quotation by Albert Einstein. If we cannot imagine, we cannot do research. Otherwise, we will accept everything. That is, someone will say like that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. We will accept, yes, this is true. And no research, no imagination, no new findings. If it is going on, then we are never come to know that the art revolves around the sun. So it is the dynamism in the research. Someone established something and we have our imaginations. Let us bring our imagination to the practical field. And we need to find out the truth as Helen that say here that it is also find out the truth and we have to go with our imagination as per Einstein for this. Now, very important part of research. That is what is research method and methodology. 
and how they are different from each other. I would like to share. I think this is a very basic question, but always in the researcher mind. They are always asking this question. So I am always being confused. That is, uh, how research method is different from the methodology? Yes, of course. Method and methodology, both are different from each other. Different. That is, as we have seen in my previous speaker, in the inaugural speech keynote speaker, our professor Nelson, wonderfully shown you that the different methods, and later on, he was explaining about the methodology. It is very important. I think that if you have already picked up, it is becoming simple. But uh, as the part of this uh, fundamental research design, I have to speak about this. And I would like to share that see, whenever we are using any method, any method that, that is uh, maybe someone is using qualitative research design, someone is using quantitative research design, someone is using scientific research method, you are from the physics chemistry background or you are from the engineering background and you have selected one method. Now the question is that, why you have selected this method? Why, what is the reason behind selection of this method? You can select another method also. There are maybe thousands numbers of methods available, but the methodology is working here. We need to understand why we are selecting that particular method. The classic, the classic behind the selection of a particular method is known as methodology. I, I hope that now the things should be very, very clear. That is one method you were selecting and why you are selecting the method? It is the methodology. So for selecting one method, you need to go through the review of interest. It is very, very important. If you will ask me that, sir, how to identify my correct method for my research design, then I will always tell you that you need to understand. You need to understand the classic behind your research problem. Your research question is always important. I'm sharing here one important point you can see. So why it is important that is you are solving one problem. Research is the solution of a particular problem. You are finding out the truth. You are having your imagination. Now, one established hypothesis was there. And you are giving your own hypothesis, alternative hypothesis or research hypothesis. You can uh, title your hypothesis. And your basic viewpoint is that, that you want to reject the established hypothesis. That is, you want to reject the null hypothesis and you want to establish alternative hypothesis. Someone is saying like that, that this is the exact rule. A is equal to B. And you are introducing that, no, A is not equal to B. A is always greater than B. Or if it is two tail, then A may be greater or B may be greater than A, but they are not equal to each other. So facts and findings are necessary. And we need to understand that methodology to adopt one correct method. We need to understand the methodology of the research. For that purpose, we need to go for the research and the review of literature on different platform. Now, I would like to share the next thing, which is very, very important. Now the question will come to your mind. What is research gap? Of course, very sensitive and very important. And how to find out the research is also very important. 
So if you are reading resource paper books or these topics interest, you may realize that some areas having significant scope, I have write it down here, significant scope. 